Hello guys and welcome to Motion Time. My name is Lloyd and for today's segment, we're gonna talk about shapes in motion. So let's go. Okay, so shapes in motion. Basic shapes in motion. Where can we find them? We can find the basic shapes in motion here on this part, the lower part of the canvas. If you hover your mouse in here, you can find the rectangle tool shortcut key is R on your keyboard. And if you click that arrow, it will show other shapes available. Circle, C for circle on your keyboard. And lastly, the line tool. You can make a simple line. How about the other shapes in motion? The other shapes in motion can be found here on the library shapes. So we have different kind of shapes available in here. From five-sided star to the triangle. We also have a shape generator. Let's go to generators and we have the sunburst generator. We also have a star generator. So how to convert a basic shape into a custom shape? First, let's go to our rectangle. Go to shape and go to geometry. You can see on this part, the control points convert to points. Click that convert to points. Then convert. As you can see, nothing has changed yet. But once you click one of the points, then right click and change it to smooth, you can see that the corner of your shape has changed to a different shape now compared to the previous one. These handles can be adjusted based on how you like it. For example, I can adjust this right handle to make a new shape. I can also adjust this one to make a new shape. You can also move it around just like this to make your own custom shape. So next is how to make a custom shape in motion. You can easily make a custom shape using the Bezier tool. So where can we find the Bezier tool? So Bezier tool can be found here on the bottom part again beside the line or the rectangle or circle area. Then you can hit B on your keyboard and click on your canvas to make or trace a shape you want. For example, just like this, I have made my custom shape in after a few clicks. Let's make another one. B, press B on your keyboard and just click anywhere on the canvas. Okay, now we have created a new custom shape. So next, so next, let's use the sunburst generator to make another custom shape. So let's do the shape generator. Let's go to the library, generators, and sunburst. Now we have our sunburst generator on the canvas. We can use the sunburst generator to make some polygons quite easy. So currently we have 20 sides. Then we'll just adjust the inner radius. So as you can see, we have created a 20 sided polygon. We can adjust it again. Let's, for example, adjust the number of arms to a smaller side. Let's say seven sides. So currently we have seven sided polygon now. How about one? We have a die. Oh, so one is not possible, only two. So two, like 17, 26, just like that. Now let's look at the properties of a shape in motion. I have a, a rectangle on my canvas. Then let's go to shapes. So a shape has these properties we have it has a fill and an outline so for the fill it can have a color and a gradient for the outline the brush type can be solid airbrush or image as you can notice when you select the airbrush and image the two tab in here becomes available currently if i select solid it's unaccessible but if you change to airbrush and image you can see that the two of them becomes available becomes available so fill Fill is quite easy. You just change the fill color or the gradient fill of the shape. Next is outline. So th this is the outline of the shape. Let's uh, just select solid for now. So we have the width of the shape. We also have the joint start cap and end cap. So the start cap and end cap is quite important, especially if you're using a circle shape. For now, let's just 
look at the rectangle shape so the, re the rectangle shape has the first point offset and last point offset this one this two i mean you can animate these two parameters just like this you can do keyframe the last point offset similar to this alternatively you can also use the behavior for shapes you can found you can find it in here behaviors shape then right on so the right on behavior is similar to the is animating the first point and last point of a shape so currently if we use the draw if we use the draw in on the shape outline it will use the last point offset to draw the shape you can also do the erase which uses the first point offset so for now let's not talk about the right on for the shape next let's go to the geometry let's fill the shape again with a solid color on the geometry tab we have the roundness of the shape if you want your shape to have a rounded corners you can use this roundness slider you can adjust the roundness as much as you want so that's it Be for basic monday shapes in motion let me know if you have some things you did not understand or some things that made you confused comment down below and hope to see you again next time thank you